Grand Rising, Grand Rising. What up, team? What up, family? What up, world? We're going to skip everything. You guys know what we do here. We're going to do what we do every single day. Come together. We trade. We have fun. But today, I will be displaying a new strategy. I'm still going to go look at the Forex Factory. Going to go look at some currencies just to see how powerful this strategy really is, even compared to ideal currencies where we should be trading and maybe currencies we shouldn't be trading so i do have my scholars on the call so with that being said um if there's anybody on here that has a question you are more than welcome to ask your question while we are on this call please do so please do so and then we'll continue to go from there all my individuals that are tuning in from ig facebook use hot YouTube, TikTok, and Twitch. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this channel. Those of you that are watching the replay, thank you as well. Drop a comment below. Let me know where you're watching this video from. And also, if you have any questions. Now, listen, guys, this new strategy, I haven't named this strategy yet. It came at a time. It was an aha moment when it happened. And, um... Yeah, I was I was on a call with one of my friends and we were looking at some things and I, I was like, bro, do you see what's going on? Do you see it? He was like, no, nah, I don't see it. I said, OK, don't worry. I see it. So uh, I came over here to this platform to try it out. And all this extra stuff you see down here, this isn't included. This is me adding other things to make this strategy better. The base of this strategy is just these two lines and this right here. So these right here are your moving averages, these two lines, and this right here is parabolic SARS. Now, let's go over here to Forex Factory real quick. I just want to see if we have any news. I haven't looked at it today. JPY, we got CAD. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It is 9 o'clock. Mm, so medium impact news for, oh, wow, for uh, USD. All right, cool. Not a big deal. Redo that. Okay, cool. Let me look at the constant strength meter. Let's refresh. All right, cool. Looks like a pretty decent day. Now, so guys, when I was playing with this, I was switching my times from 10 and the 15 seconds. So I was doing it last night during the Asian market where I needed a little bit more time. But this morning, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to start off with a 10 second time frame. We're going to try 10. All right, cool. And then my candles are on S15, I can ask, enable timers, and so forth. So the basis of this strategy do not worry about this right here i can really delete it i will only be focusing on this while glancing at this to see how this lines up with this i'm still adjusting my settings but look you wait for the cross you get the cross as long as your parabolic stars are underneath you take every single trade until you get a color change once you get a color change here is your first caution to stop trading and then what you can do is you can wait to see if it's going to continue to go up if your parabolic SARS continue to be underneath, or you could just find a new trade. Um, once the parabolic SARS come on the top of the candles, that's telling you that price wants to go down. Now, I didn't add our normal red line that determines the trend, or I didn't add our line down here that lets us know who's in control. Just really wanted to keep this basic and keep it simple so we can catch trades in between. Now, another thing is when you catch, well, we're about to catch one right here. We're going to possibly catch one right here. Possibly catch one. See, we got our parabolic stars underneath. We're getting ready to get our cross. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to wait. Not set. Going to wait for that cross. Now, I do have an RSI down here. This is not my traditional RSI. This is the faster moving RSI, but I might change that. But what this does is letting me know the price change within the candle. So I'm going to take that trade right there. And then I've also been working on my 10. If it pulls back to 10, maybe I should re-enter. Let's see what happens. So let's see if it closes above. 
So this, I'm gonna take this. No, oh, no, I'm not. Oh, yep, I am gonna take that. I'm gonna continue to take that. I think I might need to go to 15 today. I might. I might not. We see that the RSI is clearly overbought, still lost out, but I'm still gonna take this next one. Now there is a caution, but this is something new. I'm not worried about that. I'm gonna continue to take every trade because nothing is telling me to get out. I don't have a color change right now, and I don't have a SAR over the top. I'll take this next one. Let's pull back. We see this right here. Now, this is where that RSI is starting to kick in. This is telling me that price wants to come down. So I'm just still watching. I don't have a red candle yet. Now I have a red candle, so I'm done trading out. That one didn't give me a good run. It's okay. Let me see if I can find another one. This was getting ready to bounce up. So this, what I'm looking for now is I need that parabolic SAR to be underneath. Nope, I'm not going to take that trade yet. I see she's just above the 50 down here. Just going to be patient. This might make a move. Now, granted, this didn't give me the cross, but it's starting to pull away from that line. There we go. Now let's get the next one underneath. Let's see how far we can get this one. So back here, we caught the cross here. We could have rolled all of this right here just off that cross. Now, these are not your traditional EMAs, guys. They are not. I was just playing around. I was like, man, you know what? Let me, let me, let me adjust. Let me adjust. Let me adjust. And then boom. And these, these settings right here are not in any other one of my packages at all. Let's just find the setup. Let's see here. I want to cross. I want to cross. I want a cross. Uh-oh. You this one may be setting up. Chef JPY. Now that I see Chef JPY, I don't have any problem with oh 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 oh. Let's see how many we can get. Uh let's go. Let me see what a 10 do. Let's see what 10 does. Let's see. Now, I know she's clearly oversold right here. But nothing is telling me to switch yet. There we go. I'm taking that. Nothing is telling me to switch yet. There we go. All right. Looking to take this next one until I get a color change. So I, I'll, I will stay. I will continue to take this trade. Until I get a green candle or I get my spark box star to pop on the other side. Oh, oh, I'm not worried about this. Never mind. Looking at the other strategy. I'm going to take every single one. I may try to take one at the pullback at 10. Just to see. See what happens. Took a lesson there. I'm going to take a lesson here. And I'm abort mission. I'm done trading this. Now, when this happens. So now the market is breathing, right? We see these are still on top. It still wants to push it down. Our RSI is coming up. We see that. See that she wants to come up. We got our stochastics down here. We see that wants to come up. But how far is it going to come up? Now, if it crosses, we can be looking to take this for a buy now, as long as our SAR appears down at the bottom. Now, I do have it back on 10. We're back on 10 second trades, not 15. Let's see what we get. Nope. Oh, that's a crawl. Oh, there it is. There's our cross and there's our dot. Give me another entry. Let me see what you do. Let me see. Okay, so that's on the 10 pullback. So I will not be doing it. So there's our color change. So we're, wait. Okay. Now we see that she wants to come down. We see that she wants to sell. Ah, uh, man, I missed my entry, man. I'll take it at 10. I missed my entry on that candle. I was looking at this right here. And I would have possibly still lost this trade, though. 
So I'm going to take that as well. Might need to go to 15, man. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. All right. I will take this next one. Now, when I was doing this, when I was trying this out, like sometimes I would hop in on a, when this candle gets to one, I would hop in. And then sometimes I would wait uh, to see if I get a dot first. Like here, I got the dot, then I will hop in. But then that would give me, a, um, it would delay my entry though. So that's why I started, I, I switch in between if I want to get in at one or if I want to wait. And I really, I really just, it depends on how the market is moving. Like if I see like it's still going up like it is right now, I'm just going to hop in at one to be realistic. That's another clear. I'm going to wait to the one. I'm going to hop in here. We still got a dot here. So I'm in for one. Only in for 10 seconds. 15 second candle. So it may clear. It may not. We'll see. And this may be our color change. We're done trading this pair. We're done. Took that lesson. We got a color change right there. And now we see our RSI is starting to come down. You guys see the stoke coming down. But... I don't think I'm going to add this to the strategy. Like, it's not needed. It's just extra sauce. But I think it's going to overcomplicate what we need to be looking at. And I'm going to take this trade. So I took this trade because we went back green. We got our dot. Let's just see how high we can go. Could it be that AUD and NZD are both just about as strong today? Nah, I don't know. I have no idea. I didn't. I mean, I don't. I didn't. I didn't take that into consideration when looking at this. But give me a weak pair. I'll go to a weak pair. Give me a pair. You guys call out any pair. I'll go I'll go to it and do this right now. Come on. Okay, I might take a lesson here. There we go. No, nope. clear. That's another clear. Y'all, this is crazy. This is crazy. You are in uh USD. You are USD? Yeah. Clear, clear, clear. Clear that one. <laughs> this is crazy, y'all. This is nuts. Okay. So we just have to wait for the setup. And it happened back here. Cross, boom. It's a huge drop. So we have to wait on the cross. What was the other pair someone said? GJ is weak, so anything against GJ. Give me a pair. Um, you say USD. GJ is weak? So I'm GBP? sorry, not GJ. No, G, uh, GBP is uh, it's weak. So okay. anything against it. What do you, what do you want? Uh, you can try uh, US USD. GBP USD. Forty two. That's paying out forty two percent. Uh, there is no OTC for that though. Okay. But I'm about to show you guys some. I'm glad you picked that actually, because it doesn't matter. I just did the smaller time frame. Oh, here's one right here. Wait, 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 wait. What is what's, what pair is this? This is G. I just 15. Oh, I can only take a minute candle, but um, I'll do it. I'll do it here right now. Um, 60 seconds on GVP. I'll do 60 seconds on this, but I think I need to, while doing this strategy, I need to adjust my candle times for this, but I will attempt it on this because the smaller time frame is going to give us the uh, the faster entry. So I'll try. AUD, NZD, we're waiting for that to set up. So I'll continue to take everyone on GBP USD. Um, I would really want to do a one minute candle, honestly, with the one minute time frame for a regular pair, to be honest with you, or maybe even a 30 second candle for a 60 second time frame. See, this is a color change. We would have been out. We would have been out. But I'll, oh, here we go. Got a cross. This is AUD NZD. Loaded. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Okay, okay. It's a little, little laggy right there. Get in the trade. Oh my gosh, you're up back. You're still on. One minute. All right, take that trade. And take that trade as well. Okay. Now, I'll go back to GU here in a second. I'll switch what I want to see for GU. So we got a color change after the cross. Let me see if we're going to stay in this trade. 
Okay, we got another one. So we're getting another color change right here. Got a small cross coming up. See if we can catch these buys. And that's where this will definitely come into play. Because you can know where overall price is with that RSI. So granted, this is getting ready to set up, but this is still saying sell. So we still have divergence. So I'm just waiting. Let's see what it wants to do. Nope. Mm -hmm. there we go. Getting our cost. I will enter this next one if everything lines up. And boom. I'm going to take this trade. We got the cross. We got the park while it's are. And now we're going. Oh. Oh, look at you acting up. Um, I still won that trade. All right. That was a crazy pullback. Nah, this is a cheat code, man. There's no overthinking. <laughs> There's no nothing. Come on, it's lagging, lagging, it's lagged on me. So another thing, guys, like when you're trading this, I think the way I'm going to continue to do this is I'm just going to take every trade until I get oops, take that, until I get my color change, like for real. And that you now that you guys have been trading with me long enough too, you guys have started seeing like when you get candles like this, you know not to take that trade because that's just going to give you another loss majority of the time because the next one's going to come down. If that candle doesn't open higher. And then this one, if you're buying or if you're selling, if this candle doesn't close lower than this one, you're going to want to stop because it's getting ready to turn around. And so let's look at GU, right? So you said GU. So I'll tip here. Oh, oh beautiful, beautiful. Let's see if we can get one here. Let's see. Let's see what we got. One. Ah, that's my mistake. I shouldn't have taken that trade. I don't care if I win or not. The reason I shouldn't have taken that trade is because this dot is underneath. It's not on top. This is saying there's buying pressure right here. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We may be able to do a little something. We may be able to. Absolutely. All right, all right, all right. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? How are we going to clear that trade? Mm -hmm. That's too close for me. We clear. Oh no, we lost the last second. It's my fault though, because I entered that trade with this underneath, and it shouldn't have been. It should have been on top. It really should have been. Is there any more? Let's see here. And you said GBP was weak, correct? Oh, there she go. Lola? Yes, GBP is weak, but JPY is the weakest. Okay. Okay. So I'll pull up this one. And I'll pull up that one because they're both weak. And I'm looking for the signal here so we can take this for a 60 second sell, actually. 60 second put. Got 11 seconds there. Nope, it's not ready, y'all. <laughs> y'all, these, these two strategies, though, they're fire. They are fire. They are fire. Oh. Huh? 
Oh, just waiting. Just waiting for that setup. So what we got here? Oh, we got continuations here though. I'm gonna take you early. Just because I wanted to hop in something. That's no particular reason why I hopped in that trade, guys. So don't think it is. I really want the 15 second trades here. And we want to be back here. And I really want to take this down to 10 seconds. Because those are the type of trades that I want. All right. Man, this is getting ready to cross down, maybe. We'll see. All right, let's get back to it. Waiting for you to set up for the sale. And you're up. You're setting up. You are setting up. Uh, 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 uh. You setting up too. I need you to go all the way through though. And you're coming down. That's beautiful. But we have that. So we're not going to take that. We'll try this next one. Let's see what you want to do. Nope. Mm -mm. As much as I want to take you. No. Everything needs to line up just right. See how many we can get out of this, guys. We already crossed through. Let's see. Let's just see. Let's see, y'all. Let's just see. Let's see if it works. Boom. Boom. Oh, no. I'm in for 60 seconds. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's supposed to be 15, man. Oh, my God. 15 to 10. Oh, talking about pressure, man. Pressure. <laughs> oh my goodness. Guys. Oh, that's supposed to be a 15 second trade, man. 10 second trade, not a 60 second trade. Oh my. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> And we're done. <laughs> we go in on that note. <laughs> we go in on that note right there. No. Tim, I see it in your eyes, bro. <laughs> I see it in your eyes, man. I see it in your eyes. I see it in your eyes. Y'all don't understand, man. I love my boy, Till. Y'all understand. I see it all in his eyes right now. Hey, Till, just call me afterwards, bro. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> but, yeah, man, that's that's the new strategy I'm working on for you guys. It's almost ready, almost, but I want to fine-tune some things. Uh, maybe I don't. Maybe I just need to keep it as simple as it is, but I think I want to give you guys – more more warnings within especially for the new person like who's coming in that hasn't traded with me before because with you guys if you're trading prime example and if you see that candle doesn't open higher or create a higher high or a lower low you guys know to stop or to wait or to pause but somebody new coming in they're not going to see that and that could be a time where a lot of those situations happen, especially after a cross, and then it reverses and crosses and goes the other way. You can lose a lot of money that way. So I'm trying to figure out a way. Like, even if I was to put, like, um, the triangles on there, the triangles, it doesn't do it because that's at a higher level. I have to figure it out. I even I even added the um the oscillator on there and that works a little bit. That gives you a warning. Sometimes it gives you a false warning though and you miss trades. So maybe I should just keep it simple. Y'all let me know. I'm just talking. I'm talking through the process right now. 
Jamelia over there, she dropping fire emojis and everything, talking about this fire. What y'all think? Y'all like it? Is it okay? Y'all can unmute. Y'all yeah. can talk. Y'all can talk. Talk to me. Yeah, it's good. You like it? Yep. Tony T, what you got, bro? I think it's excellent. Um, uh, again, we just had to uh, we found our uh, entry and exit points. That's all. And you don't have it. to get in. You don't have to get in uh, as soon as it changes or flips. No. You know, anything in between is 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 gold. And, and, and you know, the best part about this strategy, though, for real, is that it's 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 you could trick. Hey, hold on. Let me pause my mic. Hold on. Hold on. Let me pause. Let me pause. Let me pause. Hold on. Plumber, don't tell nobody. <laughs> Okay, so that that's that's a great question. So on broker manipulation, <clears throat> it's better. Man, it just really depends on the broker, right? So I remember back in the day, if you look at the strike price when you're on your binary options platform, it's different from the strike price that's on trading. And one thing that I tried to do is try to find one that it's so so close because then you can use that for your advantage and they know that so what i mean is this right here let me just show you we're gonna come over here and we're gonna look at we're just gonna look at gj real quick so <laughs> gj strike price right now is 183.831 right oh we can see it right here you guys see up here at the top my screen right here you guys see yeah. that? So, but on trading view, it's 183. Oh, it's super close right now. 837. So actually, GJ and pocket options are really close for the strike price. Ooh, that's a cheat code. So the price over here, what because there's different sources when you're selecting your pairs, right? So if I come here and let's just go to um oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? So we go here. Say I wanted to add this pair right here, right? See how I have Oanda, Forex.com, FX. All of them have different price because they're going to charge you a different fee for whatever you're, um, whatever you're trading. They want their money, but that is super close. Oh my my my! So let me just see something. So, man, you're all in the box. I really would call this. Hmm, hold on. I want to I want to take a trade with y'all off this, and I want to show y'all. Hold on, let me find. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is so spiky. I'm not even gonna trade this, but this has to come down. We got resistance here. Uh -oh. <coughs> but that's the, that's that's the big thing of it. This is on a two minute. Let's go to a one minute. Let's see if we can get a one minute. We're all in here. I don't want to do anything in here though. But it still wants to break. It's not going to break. Next one. Boom. Should come down to that level, maybe. Reverse off. No, I'm not taking that trade. I wouldn't even do it. <laughs> so the price is super. They're super close. But normally there's like a, a 10 to 20 point difference on that price right there. So and that's with the regular currency pair. So now you can use this to look at this to see what you really want to do if you're trading the regular pairs but they pay out different but that's okay because even when we first when we all first started we traded we didn't we didn't even touch otc that's why there's so many different brokers people will use this broker use other brokers because their percentages were different and different things that you can add on to while trading now i hope that i hope that that helps a little bit i hope yeah hope that helps all right, cool. So thank you guys for tuning in and watching. You guys that are on the call, go ahead and stay on the call because we're going to dive into some more Q&A like that. You know, he going to make me mute my video, y'all. He, he asking some real deep questions <laughs> that I'm not going to record right now. But anyway, y'all take it easy. Tune in again, and we'll be on again tomorrow. So tomorrow, Wendy and Mr. Plummer will be leading the class. But anyway, y'all have a good one. We out. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
everything is color coordinated candles underneath the red line that's one red on top that's two red down here that is um three one two that's three those are the three signals to enter the trade to let you know that it's a good trade but what we look for our entry point when taking these trades is our cross right here 